YouTube, this is JP963 here. Thank you all for joining me today. Today I would like to make a video about survival fishing and for this demonstration I will be using what my little survival fishing kit that I put together that I carry in my backpack. First off, what you'll need to do is start looking underneath stones and uh, maybe some old tree trunks and stuff to try to find yourself some bait. Oh, bingo. It's a little feller, but it'll work. This is my hiking fishing kit, my survival fishing kit that I keep in my backpack. Uh, this here, you don't need to carry the weight of rods and reels. All you need to do is uh, dig you up a couple worms for bait and have your little fishing kit like this. And of course I always have a knife. Next up, uh, the method that I prefer and I would recommend for everybody for a survival fishing type situation is uh, you can go along the bank sides and you can find different limbs tree branches that hang out over the water you tie one end of the string to the to the branch along the bank side and you you'd want to have about at least 10 or 15 feet of string and you bait the hook tie one end here and toss the other out in the water and in a survival type situation you want to better your odds as much as possible so I would suggest running at least five limb lines okay what I did was uh, I found a rock and I tied this string around a rock for a sinker and I went ahead and baited the uh, the hook and all you have to do now is just toss it out in the water and I have this tied to this limb right here it's got some uh, some leaves, so if I get a fish on the end of this hook, I can be just sitting here. I'll see that branch moving back and forth. Like I said, I recommend running about five of these in a survival situation. You don't have to be nothing fancy. You just tie the the string on. And I don't know if you can. There we go. There's a the string out in the water. The best part about this method is you can be out collecting firewood and doing all that you need to do and then you can come back in a couple hours and uh, check your lines, pull them in. I think this will help everybody out in a survival situation. <coughs> This is just a method that I use, and I've used this method plenty of times. If you're out camping by a river, you can run your limb lines, bait them, throw them out, and just check on them twice a day. Go out in the morning, check them. If the bait's gone, then go ahead and rebait them. Throw them back out. Come back later on and check your lines. And I would uh, like to remind everybody, please, be kind. If you're out in nature, 
any trash and garbage that you bring, please take it home with you. I always try to leave the place just as good, or if not better, when I'm out in the wilderness. So be kind. Enjoy the nature. Let's not leave a mess for our children to have to to deal with. It's kind of trashy when you go out in beautiful places like this and see garbage everywhere. I think that right there used to be a an old bridge long before they put this other bridge in. But even still this bridge is pretty old too. Hey you. you, what you doing? Looking through the rocks? All right. Find any good ones? Found you found one. Annie, come here. The nature dog. Come on, Petey Petey. Oh, peedy peedy. Oh, peedy peedy. Spolt rotten. You're a spolt rotten. Laplash. Oh. Wanna go? Wanna go? Wanna go? Hold up. Let's go load up. You want to tell everybody hi out there? Hi out there. Leave that over there is bamboo. Many uses for bamboo, especially when you cut it down and let it dry out. You can even bend it while it's wet and uh, let it dry in the shape that you want and then when it dries it will harden into that shape. Looks like we got some storm clouds coming. I'd just like to remind everybody to cherish your friends and your family because what you have today might not be here tomorrow. Y'all take care, be safe, and God bless. Thanks for watching.